Here I would like to show you a small little bathroom. It's about three square meters. It includes a toilet, a shower, and a sink, a washing machine. They all fit. I had trouble here figuring out how I could um, get a shower installed. I didn't want to, this was pre-existing, so I didn't want to, um, in this corner, put a shower. I couldn't, because I had the window here already installed, because this is a used building. It's, it's nothing new built. And um, couldn't put it here in the corner. I was thinking of it. But then I would have had to um, cut up the concrete, put the water in, and you know, for the concrete, cut it up all to get the waste going out. Then I would have to move the toilet, roll that, put it maybe in there, and just you know, do the plumbing differently. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do such big work. So what I did was, it took me a while. I figured out, okay, well, you know, I got the water from the small sink coming. So I um, took out the tiles nicely here, went all the way up, and installed my water, hot and cold, coming off from the sink itself from behind. And the wastewater, I was able to connect in, as you can see here, to the pipe going into the wall all along and connecting into the sink waste and it worked out fine I was thinking to put a cabinet here but I couldn't get small enough because uh, here I have a window as well behind the mirror and here just two small area space so I had to figure out a way of um, getting it all done. So what I did was, I had this idea that why don't I just make it like a floating, like like like, like basically a barrel. Uh, but I had to represent something, it had to look like something. And since we're out in the country, in this tiny house, I just took this uh, good old, it was brand new obviously, uh, barrel they use for plants or any type of storage. Um, they could plant plants in this solid wood, hard wood, epoxied the bottom to make it more water resistant, repainted everything black, drilled out a hole here, put my uh, connections in there for the drain, and then I said, okay, put some rubber in the bottom so it won't slip and slide, but if you really look at it, it's sturdy, it's not screwed onto nothing. So this could be pushed away. The only thing that's connecting this is basically the weight itself pushing down and the pipe there, the waste. That's all the connection you have here. It's wire tight. And then I have here for the shower, going up pipes there. So I have a head you can take off, separate, handheld, and a top. I was thinking, okay, that's great. But how I'm going to avoid the water from, you know, splashing all over the place? What, put plastic or what, 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 but a body has to fit in here. So, you know, like, it's for adults, right? So, then I decided, okay, make a hoop. So, I took some uh, piping, I bent it into a circle, supported it here, bent all along, and then supported it in the middle to the ceiling. As you can see, you can move it, but downward is strong enough to support the hoops for a curtain, shower curtain. It comes all along, two shower curtains, left and right, meet in the middle, and looking at it from here, it widens at the top, but narrows in the bottom. And when you're inside, it's plenty of space. Your legs, are inside there your feet your shoulders and your arms could be moving around splashing around and since I have it here tucked up too 
with some cold dryer hang clips and the water coming this way nothing going behind it and if I do have very little splashing behind going to that wall is also not a problem I tell you why because I'll just come down to here where I took out a little bit of cement I made an area where the water could collect and then the cement will soak it up but never had issues like that I'm very um, pleased and so is my wife with the results it takes up very low space at the same time gives it this country vibe so that was my idea to figure out a shower for a small bath thank you for viewing please take a look at my other channels and contents thank you